Welcome everyone. I have talked a lot about the SN95 Mustang on my channel in the past. And in general, they are pretty amazing cars, especially for the price you can get them for. I actually own a 2002 New Edge Mustang GT and I absolutely love it. These Mustangs are very reliable and can easily last past 300,000 miles if you don't constantly be on the engine. But with that said, there are a few things you should know about the Mustang GT before you make that purchase, just to better prepare and educate yourself. So here are some common issues on the SN95 Mustang GT from 1994 to 2004. Let's get started. Now with age, and especially with these Mustangs, the suspension becomes very squishy and boat-like. Some new springs, shocks, and quad shocks will easily fix this issue, and it's not all that hard to do if you have worked on cars before, nor is it too expensive. The stock shifts on these Mustangs are extremely long, and in my opinion, annoying. The best and only fix for this is to install a sharp throw shifter. Not only will your shifts feel crisper and be quicker, but the car will feel more aggressive. The paint going bad, which is typical. When I received my Mustang, the clear coat was peeling all over the car. Literally, not one panel was not affected. You will need a new paint job. Door lock actuator is going bad. All you need to do is pop off the door panel and replace the actuator. Not too hard to do, but it does require just a bit of patience. And the part is pretty cheap. The stock Mach 460 radio ends up not working intermittently. The best solution for this is to purchase an aftermarket radio. When you do this process, be cautious for the plastic bezels. They are prone to breaking extremely easily. Which brings me to the next issue. Cheap plastics breaking, the cluster plastics, the center console bezel, the plastic door grab handles from the interior, and even the little air vents in the corners of the dash are all prone to breaking from becoming brittle from the sun. Good old American plastics. From 1996 to 2001, the intake manifold is prone to busting and causing a coolant leak. The crossover pipe is plastic and just prone to breaking. There is an aftermarket intake with a metal crossover pipe that will fix this issue. Coils going out, which is typical with any car of age. Replace them with a good aftermarket set with good ratings. A hanging idle that is due to the ISC valve and making a custom gasket that restricts a bit more airflow will fix that issue. Spark plugs popping out of the engine. Now this can be due to someone previously installing the spark plugs improperly and not torquing them correctly. This can ultimately ruin the threads in the block, and if that is the case, you will need to re-thread the holes, which is not an easy task to do, but it's a lot cheaper than replacing the head. If you get a professional to replace the threads on the block, you'll be looking at around $200, or well, it should be. If you are replacing the spark plugs, be sure you follow the proper procedure to prevent this issue in the future. Valve stem seals on the 97 models and earlier go bad at around 120,000 miles. If you have been low in oil on your oil changes and you do not know where it all went, this may be the culprit. It's not an easy job and it does require you to fandangle the engine a bit. And if you haven't worked on cars, I wouldn't even attempt this job. Timing chain guides wear and break, and this can cause some noise from the engine bay. Replacing the guides and chain is no easy task and requires some fandangling as well, and should be done by a professional just like the valves themselves. I have videos on replacing the door lock actuators, radio, springs, and quad shocks, and I have a short throw shifter install on my channel if you're interested, so check that out. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, what about the V6 model? Well, those are pretty dang reliable, cheap, and can make some mad power cheaply. And the main issues is head gaskets going out. 
and I'll cover the 5.0 from the Mustang years 94 to 95 when I talk about the Fox body Mustang. And the 4 valve 4.6 liter, they don't have many common issues to speak about. But the 2 valve 4.6 liter is an insanely reliable engine that is basically for its equivalent to Chevy's LS engines. If you're in the market for an SN95 Mustang, they are currently great buys. All you need to do is upgrade the shifter and suspension and you will be good to go. If you have any questions, post them down below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and subscribe for more content. This is Chris Automotivate. Always appreciate one another and I'll see you next time.